Conservatively 150,000 years, there are some skeletal remains that look like modern humans that are now dating close to 200,000 years. Let's just use that as a framework within which to think. Within that 200,000 years, there have been repeated enormous upheavals. If we go back to what's called the late glacial maximum, 15 to 20,000 years ago, sea levels worldwide were 400 feet lower. The reason is, is because so much glacial ice had amassed on the surface, the continental surface of the planet. And of course, the source of the water that froze into that glacial ice was water that had been evaporated out of the oceans. At the onset of an ice age, you have this major disruption of the hydro hydrological cycle. Normally, you get water evaporating from the oceans. It precipitates out as rainfall or snowfall. Rainfall, it's going to go into the surface waters, which drain back off into the ocean, or it will go into the, the subsurface, the subterranean waters, which will eventually you know, have a much longer cycle, anywhere from thousands up to a couple hundred thousand years as that water moves through the crust. My point is, is that even up all over Canada or northern, Ham northern latitudes, it snows, the snow accumulates, and then in spring, it melts away. Well, somewhere in the onset of a glacial age, that normal cycle, annual cycle, is just completely disrupted. So now that water is being evaporated out of the oceans, precipitating out as snowfall. It accumulates, compresses into glacial ice. Spring doesn't come. So that water, that ice doesn't melt and get returned to the ocean. So as the ice increases, sea levels drop. What that does then is it causes mass redistribution around the surface of the earth. It literally changes the shape of the geoid. 